The epic battle between two behemoths, Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, is set to take place on 17th February in Riyadh, and boxing pros are already picking up their favorite to win the clash. Makes Karl Frock believe that Usyk is superior to Tyson. And I think Usyk's gonna beat Fury. I just think it's close, it's tight. With yeah. the way Fury struggled against Ngannou, I just think it's a tough fight for Fury to win, because Alexander Usyk doesn't know how to lose. He's so good, such a top amateur, great cruiserweight, bro, beat everybody and now he's a heavyweight champion and he's got two wins over Anthony Joshua mm -hmm. and he's getting bigger he's growing into the weight yeah. and I just think um, I just think that he's he's probably going to beat Tyson Fury Josh Warrington believes that this fight is going to be a clash of styles though he picks Usyk to come out on top he stated it's a clash of styles there's not many fighters who stand nearly seven feet tall can move the way Tyson Fury does with that being said the Francis and Ganu fight has done him no credit whatsoever he didn't look the same. He didn't look like Tyson Fury of old. I know Usyk is a hell of a boxer. He has got so many skills. So I have sat on the fence a few times. I've kind of leant towards Fury a couple of times, but at this moment in time, I'm leaning towards Usyk. The size difference isn't that big, and I feel that Usyk's boxing skills and defense is just going to be too much. Lennox Lewis made a peculiar comparison when he called Tyson a giraffe and Usyk a bunny. As he stated, you've got a giraffe against a bunny rabbit, so anything can happen in that fight. The bunny rabbit has won a lot of fights. He's won a lot of fights with his style. And, you know, he's an undisputed champion as well. And he does anything possible to win. So he's going into this fight looking to win. Sometimes bunny rabbits win. Moses Atalma got to spend some time in the ring with the Gypsy King while he trained for his fight against Usyk. Moses claimed he's confident that Tyson is going to win. Bro, do, you know, do you know what it is? See, when you're in the ring with Fury, you know you're in with a world-class fighter. Uh, when you're when you're sparring some boys and they're just English class or the European class, and then you got someone that's like you just feel like it's from a different planet. <laughs> that's what Fury's like a little bit. Like for a big guy, man, I, I ain't got a clue how he moves so well. His engine and also his hand speed is nice out of this world, hundred percent. You're in a, a very beneficial position and a lot of boxing fans and, and analysts would love to be in your position to see Tyson Fury in this camp because he's been very quiet. How is he looking ahead of the Alexander Usyk fight and how do you think that fight? Francis Ngannou also believes that Tyson will be victorious and he hopes him to win so he can have his rematch. He stated, if I'm objective, I will say Tyson Fury. Speaking from myself, I will still say Tyson Fury. Obviously, I'm not counting Usyk out. I know he can win this fight. He has a very good chance, maybe even. But I still go for Tyson, and I still want him to win to see him for that rematch. Zhi Zhang thinks that the fight between Tyson and Usyk will require immense preparation, and if Tyson prepares well, he can win the fight. He stated, if Tyson Fury fights the same way and prepares the same way he did for Nganu, it's going to be a long night for Tyson. But if he trains hard and takes care of his routine, I think he's got it. He's taller, reaches longer, and he's flexible. I just do believe he has so many physical advantages over Oleksandr Usyk. So I think in a perfect world, I'm leaving for Tyson Fury to get the victory. Billy Nelson believes that Tyson is more skillful than Usyk. Mind it all and what do you think happens? Fury will stop him. Early, late, or? Um, later, because he's, he's very, very clever. Usyk, very clever. But he, Tyson Fury has got a fantastic IQ boxing, and uh, I think he'll, he'll suss him, he'll close the distance down, and he won't let him off the ropes as easy as what, for talking sake, Anthony Joshua's done for thir uh, 24 rounds. Usyk's promoter Alex Krasiuk believes that Fury is a tremendous fight and any one of the two can come up with the win. He stated, The good thing is that Oleksandr is not a native speaker of English, so he doesn't understand much of it. Tyson turns into a different character when the camera turns on, but Tyson is a student of boxing and he knows what type of fight he has ahead of him and we treat him with respect. When he had the face-off before the press conference, Tyson showed a lot of respect to Usyk and he said a lot of things which made me like a lot about him. He was saying, It is down to God who wins. No matter how hard you work, there's only one winner and anything can happen. I agree with him. But to rely on God, you have to work hard. Sean Porter believes that this fight is not going to happen, and if it does, it will be Tyson's last fight. He stated, What we know about Tyson Fury is he's a showman, 
What we know about Tyson Fury is he likes things to be his way or no way. Me personally, I don't feel like this is the kind of energy he wants to exert anymore in the boxing ring, which is why he went after Francis Ngannou. Those are the kind of fights he's looking for, things that are going to give him the money and the recognition and the nights that he won't have to trade hard for. Don't be surprised if something comes up with the WWE before this. I think that there's a lot of pluses for Tyson Fury, but I just don't see him being able to look at those pluses and feel like, hey, I'm going to win that fight, I'm going to beat him. If he does get in the ring with him, I expect him to win that fight and sail off into the sunset. I think that will be the last one for him if he has that fight. Anthony Joshua is excited about the big match and believes that both fighters are god tier, but he gave a slight edge to Usyk. Anthony stated, You've probably heard it a few times, but I think Usyk is a phenomenal fighter, and he's got a great team around him. You're only as good as your team, and he's got a really good team. And having been in the ring with him and studying him, I think he's the one to edge it probably, because of my experiences of his ring craft, I think it's top tier. Joe Rogan is excitedly waiting for this fight, and he believes that Tyson Fury is going to win. And I bet you'll see an entirely different Tyson Fury in this next fight. In this next fight, you will see a f Yes. But he's fighting the craftiest heavyweight, maybe, of all time. Yeah. Usyk is so slick, uh, so he's got just unbelievable movement. His angles, the way he boxes, his feints and movement, total next level. Yeah. So there's, there's, you know, there's money in that fight, and I would hope that the winner of that fight then fights Francis. Whether Usyk would want to fight Francis, who knows? But if Usyk wins, if he beats Tyson Fury, that's you know pretty incredible. What's the date for that fight? February 17th in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi. Saudi Arabia going crazy. Yeah, there you that's, go. That's a very, very interesting fight. Yes. And although Usyk is smaller, man, that f guy is so skilled. Yeah. Those Anthony Joshua fights were insane. Is Sergio Mora also favors Tyson going into the fight as he stated, I will give preference to Tyson. It's not about the latest fights or styles. Size matters, and the difference in dimensions will be too noticeable. If Fury were a standing target, then I would give preference to Usyk. He is incredible. But given the fact that Fury moves, faints, leans, throws punches from the clinch, and breaks the distance, size matters no matter how you're a good boxer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.